hello all right well you know i i said i was gonna skip all the stuff i did in fact i said i was gonna highlight real this uh this whole dungeon but no nah, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that um you're stuck with me i mean i know you, you some of you aren't even watching the game in the, to begin with so you may as well uh just hang out with me and we'll we'll get through this and it'll be fine and we're just gonna kill some pearl frogs again it sucks uh you know these like i said these things happen uh occasionally cud likes to crash it's very rare y'all better stop putting your tongue on me i don't need that evil in my life okay listen <clears throat> you you guys gotta stop I wish my clones did a better job of killing these frogs. Oh, you better not. Wow, the game crashed again. This is a problem. Uh, maybe there's like a very specific instance in which temporal fugue and pearl frogs tongue licking me is, uh, is creating a, an issue, but, um, it's becoming a problem. Like, this is already super time-consuming as far as historic sites go. I, I already don't want... I'm, I'm not having a good time with this historic site. Let me put it that way. Because these tanky frogs... like, And that's why I throw out the Temporal Fugue is hopefully to, to mow them down a little bit. But my goodness. Well, um, maybe I can speedrun towards that electrical generation item. And then, um... And then I can just, like, use the, uh... The chain gun. You know, to the best effect I can. I don't know, I don't know. It's starting to demoralize me a little bit, I gotta say. I don't like, uh, repeating myself at the best of times. It's just, like, poison stuff. Uh, force bubble on. I mean, the, uh, the poison does work really well. Because it's like raw damage. Like, they take that da damage right on the nose. They can't tank their way out of that. You know? Alright, let's just go ahead and recover for a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Can Is there a way to, like, force an autosave? I'm sure there is. I don't know what it is, though. Like, I do have the perfect tool set to make a, make myself uh, a nightmare for a person like you, for a, for a frog like you. I do have the perfect tool set to, like, completely negate any harm that these frogs could could potentially cause me but that doesn't mean that this doesn't suck you know i don't know what swipe in defensive stance does i think it tries to push them away but i think that frogs are very resistant to basically all like extra or tactical effects so i'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna not use temporal fugue i think that's what i'm gonna have to do We're pretty close to our first chest. Oh, God. Um, we'll do force bubble, and I'll do a sting on you, and I'll do a lunge on you, and then I'll shoot both of you. Oh, there's our bone worm. Nice. Oh, I, I was an idiot, and I've uh, used my gun on it, and so I don't get the corpse. I got incinerated. Shoot. I hate when I do that, you know? Uh, let's do a lunge and shoot. Um, I don't know, these these frogs are weird. They, they, they seem very lazy about the whole thing. You know, they, they're very lazy about combat in general. Okay, I know, I know our special item is close to here. Oh, there's our Gershling. 
they're kind of creating a problem for us as well so we want to get rid of them uh sting you uh lunge you okay cool oh god all of this these walls are like you know a bit harder to get rid of than i would like lunge you sting the poison really does help uh, I should be shield slamming more, but I, I think the oh oh these are legendary. That must have been what uh, used the had the um, space time rifts. Loved by the folk, hated by the villagers of Nevada, disliked by the villagers of Sharkamur. Okay, well um, I definitely would have gone out of my way to kill that lad. I wonder if they teleported away. But I am you know oof, I am gonna go out of my way to try and kill them. Let's go ahead and sting them. Uh, yeah, poison might also not count as a as a kill. Fortunately, we do pretty solid damage. Are they? They're badly wounded. There we go. Okay, we actually got the credit this time. So I mean, there is one nice thing that comes from this. Uh, here's our copper plated boon. What you call it? Swell with the inspiration to name your jack chain laser. Sure. Uh, name it based on its qualities. It's the traveling gaw of Hannah Parr. And um, I'm going to make it like cyan because that's the jack chain laser. I like to give it the color that I already associate it with. Um, okay, so we've got our electrical generation. We can get rid of the logical earth perturber. And actually, you know, let's go ahead and put our point defense drone. Oh, we can't put it in there if it's not powered. I guess I could like power it. Um, high capacity chem cell, perfect. And then we'll equip it. And uh, like, I think it only loses charge if it's doing something. I also like picking up these chests when I can. Start picking up some of these books. And I am famished, so I am going to eat a meal. And uh, let's cook from recipe. We'll cook that meal. You know what? I, let's um, let's real quick go to Ezra. Because we're like right there. We're right at Ezra. And then we'll leave and then, uh, you know, create a, sh a, a save point. And that way, if the game crashes again, it almost feels like roleplay mode, you know, like I'm I'm uh, playing roleplay mode against crashes. Like I say, the crashes are rare. Uh, I think I just stumbled upon a bug that consistently happens whenever I uh, use Temporal Fugue in, in this circumstance. So I'm going to not use Temporal Fugue. All right, we can start using our... our chain laser at like as much as we want now i love it i do love it it's really nice oh yeah, i mean those those guys die really easily luckily there's not too many of those in this um this site what are we looking at here oh yeah we got that electromagnet the temptation to use Temporal Fugue is great. I guess I should, like, sting this guy and actually do some stuff. Um... Yeah, we'll do, like, a lunge. While he's poisoned, I shoot them. I, that should be, honestly, like, my... Yeah, psionic. Oh, we're still carrying that psionic hammer. Honestly, uh, I'm I'm glad that got ripped from my body. Also, how do you rip a psionic hammer? Someone did say um, that they aren't like imaginary. Like psionic weapons in Caves of Cut are actually they're not like. It's not like someone created a weapon with their mind. It's that they basically reinforced it 
um, to do mental damage or like go through the MA as opposed to the uh, AV when uh, when they use it. So it's not actually like imaginary. It's it's just like reinforced. So uh, that's that's a good like a, that's a good way of putting that, and it makes a bit, bit more sense than what I've been claiming that psionic weapons are how they're used. So um, you know, I, I appreciate that you know people throw in their interpretations of Cud in the comments because uh, it like gives me a, a, a different perspective of like how this game could you know literally physically work. Let's just go ahead and uh, well, actually, let's let's uh, lunge poison that guy and go over here and poison this guy and just, uh, lay uh, let loose the, the dogs of, of hell, you know, in the form of many laser bullets. They're not really bullets. They're just beams. Our force bubble seems to last long. Oh, never mind. I was thinking that it, its cooldown was like already off, but that's not how that works. Yeah, poison's really doing um, the Lord's work here. Okay, let's rest and explore. And if there's only one frog, I'll just like, you know, fight them. Oh, of course, there's more than one frog here. And as long as I can't see a frog, I, mean, I can just rest. It's fine. Uh, we'll do a sting and we'll do a lunge. And let those guys take damage. Rest up. Pick up some books. We're doing great for weight. Um... We must be getting pretty close to... Yeah, this is the, the busy room. This is probably where the game crashed because I was like, oh, busy room, I'll use temporal fugue. And then it all went south. Um, so I'm going to have to be a bit craftier about how I do this. Let's just go ahead and kill that. I forget what they're called. Yeah, these guys could be a huge problem. We'll come back up here and we'll take them out one by one. Forget, I do forget what they're called. I, I can't remember what they're called. They got a weird name. Uh, Waveform Worm. Let's put on our force shield. They can go through our force shield because they their major attack is, uh, you know, is like that. Just want to come over here and see what our our last item is. Oh, is that a legendary? Disliked by baboons. That's cool. Waveform. The waveform worms are the only thing that could cause a problem for me. Okay, we got wintry muffs of Durkashan. These give electrical resistance and cold resistance. They would have been really nice um, for Bethesda Sousa, but I've done Bethesda Sousa now, so I'll probably end up selling these. We'll kill this, uh, this lad here. I got, you got, you tongued me over here. I, I need to kill this legendary. <laughs> I love the baboon sound though. Ah! <laughs> oh, we got more compacted bone. Nice. I mean, I guess uh, it was like frogs and worms was this historic sites like theme. Uh, let's do like a sting and a lunge back off. Oof, I am taking some damage. We're getting some pretty good XP though. It's not my preferred form of XP because it is very time consuming, but you know. What happened there? I destroyed the door by accident. There's a lot of compacted bone here. This is the problem with the uh, bone worms. Oh god, there's still a lot more here. 
Can we make out where the bone worm is? I don't think I can. It must be on the left side there. Do uh horse field oof. Do like a sting to that one and a lunge to that one. And just let let it happen. Okay, let's uh rest up. Don't want to don't want to be putting ourselves in danger here. Where is our bone worm? It must be down. Whoops. Oh, no, I didn't mean I pressed the wrong button. Please don't crash game. Please don't crash. Just gonna I'm, I'm gonna stand very still. Yeah, okay. Our clones are gone. I do want to clean out this historic site because although this is a pain in the butt, uh, it is free, easy XP. So, you know, let's, uh, let's do our due diligence and, um, get ourselves some, some free, e easy XP. I mean, there really is like, there's no other reason to clear out this historic site. I think I've gotten all my goodies. Um, let's go ahead and actually I'll sting the one on my left and then we'll lunge just to get out of there. You're famished. God, there has to be a campfire exactly over there, huh? Exactly where there's like a couple of frogs. So I'm going to be fighting these guys. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage. I can't, I can't eat because there's a campfire. Like that's, it's uh, one of the few things that still bothers me is when the campfire situation is kind of weird. I understand it for balancing purposes. I, I do, but it doesn't mean I like it. Canteen with some acid, can't have it all. It's kind of nice. Okay, let's just deal with it. Oh, wow, they do, they do a lot of damage. Uh, sting you, shoot you, lunge you. We're almost done here. We're almost done with this historic site. Cool. All right. I think that's it. We're, 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 we are officially done with this place. All right. Um, so we've got our historic site in the mountains to our northwest. We could make our way over there. Uh, I wouldn't mind making a trip to the stilt and dump off some books. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go to Karuk, I think is a little bit closer, although it's, it's about the same. Um, eh, it might be a bit closer. And we'll go to the six day stilt. And I also might d dump off some stuff in our chest. But yeah, let's go here and in F2. Um, and we'll dump off all these books. We must be getting up there. There's a lot of books in this chest. I think I want to hand those in at like level 30. We're getting pretty close. Um, hmm. Just trying to think, what do we want to do next? I guess uh, I want to go back to Ezra. Let's let's have a look in here real quick, and uh, we'll do F two. Is there anything I want to store? We'll store these elastine gloves, wintry muffs of dark Ashern, all of these uh, cybernetics. So uh, these solar cells. Although I should just like throw those into. Um, our recoilers would be good would be good to keep them honestly i should um preserve this yonder cane we'll throw our glow sphere in there um keep our nano pneumatic we'll throw this logical earth or perta burn in there wire strand sure and we're gonna have a lot more room to play with 
Oh, right. We have like neutron flux. I, I, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I really don't want to cook with it. I have my luck for cooking with uh, exotic ingredients has not been good. And wouldn't it be just like an awful, awful thing if I got the 10% roll and uh, threw this entire run down the drain? That would just be miserable. That would ruin my day. I'm not even kidding. Like, that would actually ruin my day. Um, we have a, our scaled two-faced... Oh, that's what... Am I wearing that? I guess I am. Let's throw this on mechanical wings. I just wanted to repair those real quick and throw them back into the chest. They're pretty heavy. Um... What else do we want to do? At some point, I should go to the asphalt pit, asphalt mines, um, but I don't know when I want to do that. Can we put, uh, we can put Jacked on the polarized mirror shield. It is expensive, but we have more of those bits now, so it's, it's a bit better. Um, what else do we want to do? Can we mod Rainbow Weave Cloak with something? Nulling and slender. How heavy is it? One pound. Slender really I don't really don't see it being very useful. Um Slender on flawless crystal shard meal wouldn't be that would would be pretty good and refractive would be kind of nice. Bounding boots, we could put slender and uh nulling on we need some better boots. Um, Flawless Crystal Boots is still worth it, even though the AV would be, like, halved. Alright, well, uh, let's go back to Ezra. Check out Six Shrew for the moment. We should check out the Mayor. Oh, there's Flawless Crystal Boots right there. I don't think I have anything to trade with is the problem. Should I just tra trade away the Neutron Flux? It's kind of a bummer, isn't it? A little bit. Um, sell the carbide and daggers, sure. Uh, we can sell all these cy uh, um, cybernetic credit wedges. We're, we almost have enough. Sell the keys. Yeah, I'll sell the keys. Why not? Uh, what else can we trade? A box of crayons. Probably I've already tried it. Uh, and our copper nuggets, that'll do it. We're good. The neutron flux is quite valuable, I will say. All right. Um, bounding boots, I, they're nice. Uh, they really don't make a big difference for us. They're only plus 15 move speed. Like, that's like one mutation level we could throw at, uh, at, at uh, multiple legs. So I don't think it's worth it. A uh, two extra AV, though, um, I think is worth it. So, yeah, I'll take that. We did uh, take another hit on our DV though. But I guess the DV is, the negative DV is also halved, which is kind of interesting. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and equip our Masterwork Jacked Nano Pneumatic Jackhammer and set that as our, I guess it can't be jacked because now our major source of energy it's fine it doesn't actually use all that much energy um what is it using right now it's a it's got a chem cell we'll set that as our primary and then we're gonna go and dig through the mountains notice some ruins nearby uh in the river that's a little bit scary Echin echinip i don't know if i'm in the river or if i'm in the jungle Either way, let's leave. Oh, I was in the mountain. Uh, yeah, so we can't enter the mountain, so we're just going to go ahead and go down. We're good with cats. Let's go north and then east. And then we start to dig. Um, where is our dig? I should set this to be an ability, like a... a, like a Set it to F3 or something. Um, bind key. F3. F3 works. 
F3, and then I'm just gonna arbitrarily... I guess we'll, we'll just, we could just go up. Oh, that was unexpected. F3 up. Boop, 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 boop. Um, F3 up. Do, 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 what? Oh, we have a Gershling. A conjoined Gershling. More conjoined Gershling. Takes us a little bit longer to kill those, but... Um, I guess they'll go... So, where, where are we right now? We're not even in the tile, so let's go, um... West now. Hold on, get rid of this. F3. Meow. <laughs> F3. Meow. Okay. The mountains are weird. Sometimes they are very dense, and sometimes they... Um, you know, don't have anything going on. Oh, no, we've got saps. Oh, I'm not a huge fan of saps. Let's go back for a moment and um, we'll go ahead and unequip this, re equip our copper plated whatever, and also our scaled carbide shield and our rainbow weave cloak, and we'll equip our stinger. Can't switch primary. We're not in. Oh, I guess there's some. There's some saps. Saps could be a problem because we have a lot of energy. What do you mean I'm in combat? I'm not in combat. Who's who's aggressive to me here? Oh, there's another sap. Okay. Are, are we good now? Stinger. There we go. Perfect. This should be fine. Uh, oof. Yeah, the saps can be a real problem. I'm not a huge fan of... Ooh, we have life sap? Is that, what is that? Life sap? Yeah, saps are... A bummer. That's not a great... Enemy to have to face for an entire historic site. I'll be honest. If we were on better terms with winged... Oh, I guess it doesn't matter if we're on good terms with winged mammals. Because... Um, we're not on good terms with the society, uh, the cult. So I'm going to be... I'm going to be very liberal with our uh, ranged weapon use. They don't have very much health. And I'm not going to be doing any auto-explore. Because auto-explore and saps are true mortal enemies. Auto-explore loves to ignore saps. And then saps suddenly are a huge problem. Because they... Their little bites here and there will uh, add up to a massive... Oof. Yeah, see, they just drained my floating point. Massive explosion, point, uh, case in point. Okay, this is an intro... I should have uh, clairvoyance. We also have livid creepers. I love me a livid creeper, except... Oh yeah, they're worth 250. They're, they are worth a lot of experience for a very long time. This is like the polar opposite of the pearl frog. We've got a lot of very flimsy creatures that we're, are going to die very easily to our, uh, our, our chain laser. It's going to be good. This is actually going to be great, hopefully. Honestly, if they do manage to bite me once, I can actually use that to make them nuke themselves. Uh, famished. Okay. Can't cook with hostiles nearby. Are you a hostile? No, you're not. You're a genuine mysterious stranger. Um, oh, we got a campfire right there. Oh, life sap. Uh, do we have something that gives us extra agility? It would be nice to have one thing that gives us extra agility. Everything gives us extra DV. <laughs> Did I not add... Did we never get the, the dream meal? I guess this was the dream meal. I do like this meal a lot. We could use this, I suppose. I just don't want to have to keep eating mushrooms. A 
it's a self uh feeding recipe though which is kind of neat like the more you eat mushrooms the uh the the longer the 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 recipe will last let's let's just have a real quick i want i wish you could like set eat a certain thing to like quick bar or shroom eat it so now our dv is at nine and our agility is at 33 but it's only at that for like 50 turns like i've already used up most of it so i don't know it's a fun gimmick meal i don't know if it's actually worth using or at least i am so lazy i probably wouldn't end up using it let's use clairvoyance okay this is not bad this is an easy floor very interesting uh layout actually it was very labyrinth very labyrinthine uh there must be a legendary somewhere because something just used conjure plants not sure where they are maybe i already i, I wouldn't have killed them because I would have seen, you know, a bunch of reputation pop up. I know I'm auto exploring when I said I wasn't going to, but I'm trying to be careful about it. We have a pearl frog. And it's a normal pearl frog. Why do we still have pearl frogs? Why am I having to deal with pearl frogs still? Oh, well, desalination pellet is actually some money. It back off. Yeah, the thing was already a pretty big explosion waiting to happen. Some more books. Pretty, I'm pretty excited about handing in those books at level 30. This is it, y'all. This is this is the dream. We're we're gonna have a win, an official classic win. Maybe I shouldn't speak too soon, but I really feel it. I feel it's it, it's this is the one. Okay, let's use clairvoyance. Boop. Nice. I love I love that. That's like a, a ideal clairvoyance right there. Why are you shooting the wall? My dude loves to shoot the wall, you know? He just hates walls. Okay, that's like all the baddies on this floor. Is that another kind of interesting layout to be honest. Ooh, we got a nook. We have a nook. We also have a whale. Whales are kind of a problem. Oh, are you a maze beard? But um, they're cool with us. We're, we're good with unshelled reptiles. I'm gonna take advantage of the situation. Sting that whale. Oof. Yeah, we are truly confused. Let's back up. I kind of wish uh, rest until healed also was like rest until recover from a you know status effect. Oh, this place sucks now. Like I can't even get there without getting instantly confused. I'm just trying to like get in and try not to get instantly confused. Do we have fitted with filters? Uh, doesn't that, that goes on the, the helmet, right? Can we mod this? Looks like we can't mod that. I thought we had fitted with filters. We do have fitted with filters. I guess it goes on the face. Can we put our, uh, put it on our mirror shields? Uh, probably not because it has three effects already jacked nav polarized mirror shield or mirror shades uh, I wish I had some protection against gas You know, I'm glad we're on good terms uh, humor, but that doesn't mean you're not still a problem to me
same with the urchins honestly like they're 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 kind of a problem right now we'll grab that custom i i i i, I don't like this floor let's i'm leaving i don't like it <laughs> Very grateful that these slimes are are cool with me. Even though they're leaving acid everywhere. Kinda wanna deal with that humor. Honestly. Like even though they're cool, I'm not a huge fan of what they're doing to uh this place. Wonder if I could trap them somewhere. Oh god. Ah. Uh. What an annoying dungeon. Honestly, being on good terms with slimes makes them more of a problem in some ways. We've got low light turret tinkers. Let's go ahead and uh, do our dueling stance swipe. Did we disarm it? Yeah, we did. So let's just kill that and then we'll wait for Swipe to come back. Pretty sure Swipe has a chance of having no cooldown as well, which is kind of cool. We took it. I don't, I, I guess we're not dis uh, disassembling um, low light or laser turrets, laser uh, handguns, which is good. Those are really good uh, trade goods. Disarmed it. Cool. That was a little bit of money. Uh, the worst part about the saps is they're worthless. Like, they don't give you any XP. Oh, I guess we're getting 16 XP. Okay, they're not completely worthless. They're almost worthless. Oh, no. That was a bad... I don't know how, why we got teleported, first of all. We're also on the other side of the freaking acid gel, so that's going to be a problem. We're going to have to walk through a bunch of acid. If only we uh, had an item that gave us teleportation. I would honestly love that. I would love to have it. Teleportation with clairvoyance is really nice. Basically just like free travel where, whenever you want. We could just go downstairs, but there was some interesting stuff over here, including something that apparently can teleport us. Oh, it was a yonder brush. Okay, that's fine. Please don't miss with the chain laser. Something just activated. Ah, ooh, we have a legendary livid creeper. Oh, and they have burrow, they can burrow, but I think they just got mental mirrored. No, they succeeded actually. You take five damage from the cumulative trauma of the mental assault. That's interesting. That's the first time I've ever seen that only do five damage. What? What's your rep? Disliked by antelopes and cannibals. Love that. Wait, what else? Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay, we're on... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to attack that um, slime. Despised. We're on better terms with antelopes, though. That's nice. My my uh, friendship with antelopes has really flip flopped a lot in this run, which is kind of hilarious to me. Ooh, we've got a Dromad caravan. It's an interesting place to have that. We actually leveled up off of a sap, which is hilarious to me. What is this? What is going on here? Someone was like, you know those metal fences around uh, around statues? I love those. How about that? But everywhere. Kind of 
kind of not a huge fan. Ouch. Well, at least they did me the decency of uh, destroying some of this metal fence. The worst. <laughs> Living creepers hanging out on a metal fence is really funny because they, like, I shoot right through it. Um, we have a, is that a dynamic turret tinker? What are you? Low light laser turret tinker. I'm going to let you do your thing and we're going to check out this item. Cybernetic credit wedge, frigid sphere of Alipur. What do you do? Plus three quickness, plus coal, 27 cold resistance. We've had a lot of items that just give us resistance. Can't say I'm a huge fan. I am going to pick up this um, chest though. Wait, what did you, what else did you have? Nothing in that. Let's grab it. Uh, we're still on dueling stance. Let's go ahead and swipe you. Uh, oh, I, I, I slammed it. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to disarm it. How come we're not picking the, these things up? Thank you for the second uh, weapon and the third weapon. I disarmed it. This is good. Oh, the fourth one, huh? Uh, the fifth one? Interesting. I'm wondering, um... I'm wondering if I should up my willpower a little bit, because it'd be kind of nice to get some of these cooldowns down. Or I should just, like, take some more single-handed weapon. What is our, um... Oh, we have an attribute point to spend. What does a single weapon fighting... What do we need? Expertise. Whenever you make a melee attack with a single weapon fighting, there's a 50% chance you immediately make a second attack for free. Wow, that's really nice. Your attacks always penetrate one extra time. These are amazing. What is this? Whenever you make a melee attack while single weapon fighting, immediately make a second attack for free. So you can just like... This becomes like second weapon fighting or, uh, you know, dual wielding, but for one weapon, which is kind of awesome. I love that. 50% uh, chance you immediately make a second. Okay, so I think I'd rather have penetrate strikes, to be honest. Let's take that. Because um, this this run's gonna is really just it's kind of ridiculous. I love it. Oh, those saps got me a few times, so they're gonna explode pretty violently. There's our dromad in the center of all of those fences. Kind of yeah, that was a really risky shot there because I didn't want to accidentally hit the the guard, caravan guard. Okay, so dromad. What's your deal? You've got nothing much. This is kind of hot trash. You just, uh, well, you have a box of crayons. We'll buy that. Sure, why not? Imagine, imagine the, you know, trade goods, box of crayons, draw, castle face in full caps. Draw a pretty picture. We'll sell those. Do we have uh oh we got a chain pistol disassemble that grab the copper nugget i guess there's nothing else here okay a very uh simple historic site nothing too exciting nothing to write home about we did level off this place which is kind of nice but yeah this floor here this this is the floor that really i guess uh if i want to really do my extra diligence here if i want to be extra diligent then I should check out this floor, make sure there's nothing. Because you never know, there might actually be a, a historic named object here. There's definitely, there, there could be some more books. Um, not seen anything so far. This is still faster. I mean, there's some more books. Me tapping the auto explorer just to, you know, tap the brakes. It's still faster. You know, let's go to our campfire here and eat a meal. Just a basic meal. I'm not going to do anything fancy. There's our eaters statue. Um, there's all of our acid that we have to walk through because of the gyro humor. 
Here's a book. Oh, we got chain turrets. I'm not going to go to the effort. I mean, we could get some more cells. I guess there's that. Sure. All right. Actually, do they even use batteries? I don't think they do. It's extra bits anyway. We don't really need those bits, but... Ah! Whoa, jewel baboon, huh? Uh, we're okay. We're not okay with this baboon. We gotta kill the baboon. That was almost 300 XP. Good stuff. Grab that stuff. Oh, God, stop ignoring the saps. All right. Where did these quartz baboons come from all of a sudden? It's a very strange thing to all of a sudden introduce. It's like a weird subplot that came out of left field and, you know, the, the story just doesn't do anything with. Like some kind of weird extra MacGuffin. Uh, we picked up a lacquered folding chair and now we are overweight. That's hilarious. Um, tools? Or is it... Oh, we... No, we don't. Where is it? Trinket? Trinket. Uh, I know it's a long episode. Didn't mean uh, intend for it to last this long. We're almost done. You never intend for an episode to last this long, but sometimes it does anyway. We took, picked up an electromagnetic... A chrome revol revolver with electromagnetic shielding. Let's just go ahead and... Yeah, look at all these j j laser pistols. That's going to be money in the bank. Money in the bank. Disassemble that. We're almost... You're still carrying too much. Interesting. Um. All right, let's... Let's cook a meal. Do we have... Uh, something's in the way. Turn off our... I don't know why our force bubble turned on. Um, choosing... Oh, no. Choose from... Cook from recipe. Give us some extra strength. And it should be good until we need to leave. Wow. A goal fly, huh? It's a strange thing all of a sudden. Got some weird subplots. What is this? Floating glow sphere. Oh, that's good money. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and recoil. And we're going to... Yeah, we'll go to Ezra. We'll go to Six Day Still. We'll check out our uh, skim cell, uh, skim drafters, and uh, see where things take us. Um, I think we're done with historic sites for now. So we might, um, well, we might do the next part of our quest. I think we're probably good to go. Um, we'll have, actually, let me have a quick look. Just to see. Do we have our diplomats? Yes, we do. Um, so what I will do is maybe I'll go and try and find the heirlooms of Cud and see which, uh, which, uh, group we want to make our, like, friends is see if that's something we want to do. Maybe we don't. I don't know. And, um, yeah, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.